thanks for tuning in to Steve's Small Engine Saloon again, guys. I appreciate that. I hope you're all having a great day today. I have another easy fix for you today. First step to replacing a starter rope in your starter is you got to get the starter off. Depending on your engine, you're either going to have three or four bolts holding it on. Most likely you need a 10 millimeter socket to get it off. I've seen uh, some engines out there that you need an 8 mil. In either case, figure it out, get that starter off of there. Now you put that starter on your bench. Next step you need to do is you need to have a rope to put back in it. Now you, at this point in time, have two pieces of rope. You have one in your hand that you just ripped off, and there's another piece still in the spool. Pull that piece out of the spool. Now you have two pieces of rope. If you're really lucky, you broke that rope very close to one end or the other, so you still have a good majority of the rope left. You can reuse that rope in an emergency situation. Obviously, best case scenario is that you go buy a new one, but this is for emergency situations. Sunday morning is not emergency. Pick the longest one or you have a new one. If you broke it right in the middle, so you have like only like two pieces that are three feet long each, that might work in emergency. Go ahead and try it, put it in, and it might be enough to get that engine running. And best case scenario is you have a new rope. For these little general purpose engines, you need six feet of number five rope. If you're doing a lawnmower where the starter's on the top like this, and when it's actually on your lawnmower, the rope stays up like this, and stays on your handle so there's always that much rope exposed all the time. You guys know what I'm talking about. In that case, you need eight feet of number four rope for lawnmowers. Putting the rope in is the exact same concept as what I'm gonna show you. Next step is you gotta check the spring. Occasionally, when you pull that rope out that far, the spring is under tension, then your rope breaks, the pulley will spin backwards so fast that it'll actually break the spring in there or bend it around backwards so badly that it doesn't work anymore. Easy way to check that. Almost every one of these things, when you're holding that in your hand and you can grab that pulley, you turn it counterclockwise Turn it counterclockwise, and every time you do that, hold that pulley with your thumb, your other thumb, to keep it from spinning back on you. You're going to feel tension there. We just verified now. You can feel that spring is under tension. Just verified right now that your spring is okay. Now we just got to put the rope in. Now you're going to see some videos out there that uh, the mechanic or whoever showing you how to do this is going to is going to tell you to wind that up take a little screwdriver and stick it through the pulley and stick it through the vent holes on the back of here with a little screwdriver let the tension go and then it locks that in place so that so the spool can't spin backwards you can do that but what happens if you have a pulley that looks like this, a starter that looks like this, there's no vent holes on the back, there's no holes going through the starter pulley, there's nowhere to stick anything through there to lock it. I'm not going to show you that little screwdriver method today, I'm going to show you one method that works with all of these four stroke type of starters. You put your handle on the rope first, put your handle on you tie your knot in there so the handle can't slip off just like that now you get the other end of that rope ready that doesn't have the handle on it 
You take that starter and start winding that pulley counterclockwise. You can feel the spring tensioning up, tensioning up, and you just keep winding it. And then as you're going, you hold it with your thumb to keep it from spinning backwards again. Keep tightening it up and keep tightening it up till it doesn't tighten anymore. <clears throat> You're going to feel when it gets to the end of that spring and it's going to all of a sudden stop or you're going to just realize, okay, I can't tighten that anymore. Now what you want to do is look at the starter housing where your rope actually comes out of the starter housing. Look at where your rope goes into the pulley. Now what you want to do is back that pulley off until those two holes line up. Stick that starter rope in there, the end that's obviously not on the handle. Stick that right through the hole in your housing, right through the hole in your pulley, and pull it out. Give yourself about a, you know, a foot, a foot and a half. And now start slowly releasing that tension with your thumb. Don't let it go. It's going to spin around and hit your thumbs. Let it go slowly so it's going around and around till your handle is tight on there and now it's not slipping out but you have this left. You tie your knot in that end now. Give yourself a nice tight knot. Now start pulling that rope out again. Holding it with your thumb. Keep pulling and pulling and then boom. Now that rope just slid into place. Now you can let that rope go really slow and you will find that it just slips right in there. And that worked absolutely perfectly. Now you bolt that back onto your engine and you're off and running. You're laughing. I know I just helped some of you guys out there. I hope I saved you some money. That's what I'm here for. Subscribe to my channel. I'm looking forward to the next video. Steve out.